Hello and welcome to the pearly gates of heaven. Oh my gosh, I died? Yes, and you must have so many questions. Actually, now that you mention it, I've been really interested in military history. Who was the greatest general of all time? Really? That's your question. You just, you die suddenly, you go, that's, your, whatever. Actually, um, it's him right there. Him? Are you kidding? That's just Jim. I knew him back on Earth. He's, he's not a general. That's right, my friend. And he would have been the greatest general of all time, only if he had been a general. I've been wondering this my whole life and that's the answer I get. Jim, do you have any other questions? Yeah, yeah, where's the buffet in this place? How amazing would you be if you didn't get in your own way? Check out what I found in this book, Strengths Finder 2.0, by Tom Rath and Donald O. Clifton um, from Gallup. And you can take the Strengths Finder test online to kind of figure out what kind of strengths that you bring to the table when, you know, coming up with a job or career that you really want to get into. But the other reason why I really appreciate this little tiny book is that it's not a sugar coating kind of a book. It's not one of those books like, you can do anything, you can be anything. And you, you can, can do anything. anything. It's very like, no, if you, you know, are not the greatest X, Y, and Z, then you shouldn't be trying to, to be the best in that field. You suck. Look at what your strengths are and then try to be the best in that field, kind of go towards your strengths. And it says here in this section, um, so that that little scene, their skit that I did, is actually a story from Mark Twain um, that he shares here in the book. Maybe I'll like leave it uh, at the very, very end of the video or something like that so you guys can actually read the story. It's a super short, short story by Mark Twain. Um, but it says, this story illustrates a truth that is unfortunately all too common. Far too many people spend a lifetime headed in the wrong direction. They go not only from the cradle to the cubicle, but then to the casket without uncovering their greatest talents and potentials. We are supposed to uncover our greatest talents and potential. And it's not because of some kind of fluff, like, oh, you know, it's because it's your soul's purpose or, which I totally believe in, by the way. Uh, but I really do think that something happens on a deeper level when we are not doing that. And it does kind of feel like we go from the cradle to the cubicle to the casket. It's so unfulfilling. We're not doing anything really remotely great with our life and I feel like that lackluster feeling that we get or depression or anxiety or sadness or all those things are us feeling as though we're not living up to our true potential and you might have something really incredible that you could be giving to the world but also for yourself this is very self-fulfilling to figuring out who you are you know the the Greeks were really great at identifying who they were. Oh, no, I know. I was as surprised as you are. Know thyself was inscribed above the temple of Delphi because they understood knowing yourself is the most challenging and rewarding thing that you will ever accomplish here um, during the time that you're here on this planet in this body with this experience of, of a lifetime. And within that lifetime, you do have talents. You do have potential. There's plenty of people that I've come across that say, you know, I don't have talent. I think sometimes we get talent on this pedestal of you have to be a great artist, you know, painter, musician, things like that. Whoa, I'm a painter. <laughs> that is one kind of artist. Talents come in all forms, shapes. You could be a great listener. You know, you could be great at stacking things. I don't know. That's so very, very sad. I don't know, you know. <laughs> Get, get creative, but you do have a specific talent that you can not only share with the world, but develop within yourself to stretch yourself and it will make you feel very fulfilled. Hope this video encouraged you to take a look at your talents and your potential for another glance and really get after them and grow yourself through them. Thanks so much for watching. See you tomorrow, Booksers. 
Hey there, thanks so much for watching the video all the way to the end. And thank you for all the support by clicking the like button and the subscribe button, it helps to support the channel. Also, I'm over on um, Instagram, I do IG lives and coaching and I leave some bloopers on there as well. And thanks so much for commenting. Um, I read all the comments and I really appreciate them. Thanks, bye.